Hey, how's it going guys? Uh, here today to talk about some of the paints that I'm using uh, on some of the cars to get this nice uh, metal flake. Anyways, I'm using the, uh, if you can see that there, Folk Art Extreme Glitter. Uh, this is a red right here, uh, what I painted on this vehicle here. Uh, probably took about 13 coats to get the car to look like this. Uh, came out pretty good. Uh, this is before clear coat on it, but 13 coats, about an hour and a half, I think, of painting on it. Came out pretty good. Uh, we'll see what it looks like later. Should look even better uh, when the clear coat goes on. Uh, probably about five coats of clear on that. Uh, and you can see all the different shades they have. They do have more colors than this uh, that you can use. Uh, you know, and depending on how dark or how light you want to go with your metal flake coat, you can either get something like this on the right here, which is what we did earlier on this uh, 56 Nomad in the back, or you could do a lighter, almost darker black cherry if you want to, just by, you know, depends on how much, uh, you know, you're actually going to apply and how many coats you go with. You know, what I use to uh, actually airbrush it on, uh, but a cheap airbrush kit from Harbor Freight, I think for about 12 bucks on it, seems to work pretty good. Every now and then the metal flag does clog up the tip on it, so you will have to clear it out with a small wire of some sort, uh, but really isn't too bad. As long as you reduce it about 50% with, uh, I use this glass cleaner here with ammonia in it, I uh, reduce the paint 50% at least, uh, if not a little more, and I really don't have too many problems getting it through the uh, airbrush on it. All the cars you guys have seen uh, in the last videos, the uh, 55 Chevy, the 61 Impala and all that, and the 56 uh, Chevy Nomad have all been over a black base, a flat black base, uh, which gives it sort of a dark, richer color on it. You can go lighter in different shades by throwing a different base coat underneath if you wanted white or, you know, even red on it. Just depends on what look you're going for. I think the black looks the best so far. Uh, and I'll continue to use it until I get tired of it and then move on to the next. So, hope you guys enjoy. Uh, there you go. Have fun and subscribe. Thanks.